Hello. Today we are going to be doing these little cute clutch bags. They're like bag boxes. And this one is the one that I first did that I saw a video on, which is so cute. Um, the lady who did it was, um, her name is Linda Parker. And she did this one where it comes out completely. And she put a little mini um, wine bottle in there and so she customized it to this size which is a very good it's a big size and so it measures seven and a half by about two and a half and the height is about five inches high which is a really good box and the wine bottle fits perfectly in there so it's like a little mini wine bottle which is good now this one here the way she did it was you needed to use um about three of the 12 by 12 paper um i wanted to see if i could do a smaller version um, that doesn't use that much paper so i came up with this small one here and this one measures um, five and a half by one and a half. And the height is about three and a half inches high. So it's a really cute size. It's more for like treats for kids. Um, my sister wanted me to make some for her coworkers at work. And um, she wanted to put like little goodies and stuff. And so it's the same thing. It's just a little bit smaller, but it fits a lot of stuff in there. So what I'm doing is I'm doing these for her, these little Halloween treat bags. Um, I think she wanted me to put something here, but I'm not so sure yet. I think I'm going to do like 20 of these. Um, but this is what we're going to be doing. And with this one, you only need two pieces of paper, which would be just a regular size paper. I used a recollection. I just feel it's, it's firm, it's sturdy enough. So then um, you're going to be using two of these papers. Um, it's the regular size papers, 11 by 8 and a half. Let's get to it. So I've already pre-cut the paper. And here's the paper that I pre-cut. And you will have some leftover after you cut the paper. But you're only going to need, I'm going to put the directions right now, what you're going to be needing. And you'll see them at the bottom of the video. But the first page would be the inside box. And that page, um, with one sheet, you would get both of these. You would get um, an eight by eight and a half sheet. And then you will cut another sheet, another little sheet, which would be five and a half by one third. Then you could get another color, and the other color could be any color, just so it could match, or it could be the same color if you want, but just throw it off, make it look nice with two different colors. And now this one would be nine and a half by five and a half. And you would have another one coming out from there, and that would be one and a half by five. No, I'm sorry. It would be one and a half by five and one fourth. Okay, so those are the four pieces that you'll need to start this project. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put these together first. These are the flaps. Okay, so let me put these in first. And what you do with these is what I like to do is I like to corner the two bottom edges the too long side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. I have my puncher here which I would love to get one of those. I don't know if you guys seen those. Um, they, they're crocodile ones and they have like different punches and I want to get the round one. That's the one I want to get. Right now I have this one. This one is really good. It's the We Are Memory Keeper and it's the 3 in one which it helps you do envelopes, the bows, and the boxes. And it also has the little corners here too. And another thing too, when you have when you do boxes, it has this little notch here. So when you do a box, it like clicks in. And that's a good little tool there. So what you'll do is I'm going to be using the glue for this. Some people use um, tape for some things, but I'm not really that good on using a lot of tape unless there's squares and I'm just going to do like a regular box. But this one gives me a little bit of a wiggly, so I can just wiggle it around if I don't put it right the first time. So 
you just leave some space in between on the sides and you would do that. And then what I usually do when I put glue, I usually like to score it, to mush it down. I don't know if that's the correct word, but I just like to scrape it. So it doesn't, you don't feel those little squiggly lines. Sometimes with glue, you leave these little lines and you can feel the bumps and this just smooths it out. So once you have this piece, you can just put that one to the side. And we will go on to the next sheet, which is the eight and a half by eight. Okay. On this one, you will get your scoreboard and you will. I can't find my other scoring tool, but I'll use this one for right now. So this one here, you will do. You will set it at the at the eight and a half. You're gonna start scoring at your eight and a half mark, and here you will score at one and a half. And you will score at seven. Then you will turn the page to your left one time and you will score at two. But the two, you're just going to go down to that first score mark. Okay? After you score that one, the next one would be three and one fourth. And four and three fourths. Okay? Once you do that, then you turn the page twice, so that's one, two. You would turn the page twice, and then you would go to your six inch mark and score it to the first score line, okay? Then you would turn your page one more time, and then you see the two squares right here at the, each corner. And there you're just gonna notch it. You're just gonna put a little mark at the three fourth and the other one would be at the seven and three fourths. You're just gonna do a little notch on that. And here you go. You could see all your score marks here. And then you see the little notch here. What you're gonna do is you're going to be getting it from this corner and you're gonna score it up to that notch and from this corner to the notch and you're gonna do that both sides. So here's a diagram that I did and I wrote on it so you guys will be able to see it. So here, you have all your score marks and like I said the, uh, the description everything will be below the video and these are the two little squares that you have up on top and these are the notches that you did so what you're going to do is you're going to score it from the corner of the first score mark up to the first notch and this one up to the first notch so that would make it a square and you're going to do that on both sides okay so we'll take the scoreboard out we'll get my ruler and we'll just go here to the corner. I'll put this paper here so you guys could sort of see it. So you'll get the corner here and you're going to even it out to that first notch and you're just gonna score it. And here you will also go to this first mark and you're going to score it right there. Okay, and that will give you the squares, sorry, the triangles. <laughs> Then, once you have that, then you have all your score marks. Then what you're going to do is you're going to cut the sides. So here, the two triangles are up there, and you're just going to cut from here to the first score mark, okay, on both sides. So you're going to cut here to the first score mark and here to the first score mark and you're going to do that on both sides. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're just going to fold all your score marks. A lot of people use their bone fold, the bone folder just to I get those sharp, but I don't. Um, right now, I just do the regular. Just use your finger. It's just faster. So you're gonna fold all your score marks. So that you're folding them all in. So now the triangles, you're gonna fold them out. 
And if you fold them in, that's okay because once the box is um, built in, you'll see how they're going to move. And then you could just fold them the opposite direction. So this is pretty easy. Just holding all your score marks. Okay. And let me get that white paper back here. So this is what you'll get. You'll have two flats here at the bottom. That's going to be your bottom box. Okay. And the two triangles will be on top. So what we're going to do is you're going to cut the bottom flap. You're going to leave about half an inch on each side. And then the top part, you're going to do a little bit over the half an inch. I'm going to cut that through. I'm going to cut this one here through. I cut the other side, but you know what? It's not going to be perfect. I just cut a little piece off of this one, but it's okay. You won't be able to tell that much. So once you have that, you're going to have these flaps here, and then you're going to have these two flaps here. So what you'll do is you'll get your glue, and you just put it right there at the edge. Okay? And you will get your flap, this flap here, and you're just going to put it behind it so it could hold the side flap. You would do the same thing to this side and just square it off. That's going to be one side of your box. Okay? Then what you do is you just fold everything in, you go to this flap. And you're going to put glue on the smaller edge, not the one that has the square, I mean the triangle. Just put out the smaller edge. Just cover everything up right there. Then you're going to flip this over and you're going to make sure it, it evens out at the bottom for your box and on the sides. And that's why when you put tape, sometimes you put the tape and it's stuck and you're like, messing up that piece of paper because you're going to have to start all over. You're not able to pull it out and put it back in. And with the glue, there's a little bit more of a wiggle space. So then at the bottom, you could just stick your bone folder in and just pressure it a little bit just to make sure it's stuck in there. And you do the same to the other side. Okay. And you flap it over, make sure the bottom evens out so it could be a straight if the if the this sides don't even out it's fine as long as the bottom evens out and then once that's together you could also scrape it with the bone folder to make sure it stays in place so there you go so these two things here the two little triangles on the side is what's going to make that shape on the sides okay so then once that's done you pull it to the side and now we're going to get your other piece of paper which is the nine and a half by five and a half and this one you're going to get your scoreboard and you're going to put it at your nine and a half inch side and here you're just going to do three marks you're going to score three times. And the first one you're going to score is at one and a half. And the next one you're going to score is at four and three fourths. And eight and one fourth. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, my battery ran out. So what you're going to do on the five and a half and nine and a half. Um, I didn't do, it didn't record the last part of it, but you're going to um, score at one and a half, four and three fourths, and eight and one fourth. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do. Once you finish scoring, you're going to fold all the score marks. And once you fold them, this is what you're going to have. You're going to have this shape right here. Okay? One side's going to be shorter than the other one. That's okay. Um, you're going to put the shorter one on top. I mean, at the bottom, and the, the longer one on top. Okay? And then what you'll do is you'll get your little box. And you're going to put it in like a little taco. 
It looks like a tent. So you'll put that in there, snuggled in, and you're just going to even it out over here. And make sure that that's snuggled in there. And once you have that, and like I said, the bottom flap, I think it's better when it's the smaller one at the bottom. It just looks more cleaner. So once you do that, you get your glue. And you will want to glue. Don't go too much to the edge. If you put too much um, glue, then it could get stuck to the bottom box. And then you're not able to slide it over. So... And if you go too far over here on this side, it's okay because this glue dries clear. So what you do is you just try to put it together and you just even out the corners, the sides. And you just push it down, let the glue settle. And if there's glue here, it's okay. You can wipe it off and it will dry clear. So there goes your box. And you're done. Um, once you get here, usually where it has the little slit in between, I try to put that one towards the back. Okay, put that one towards the back. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get your lid. And you would put this, the glue behind the lid. And what I do is when I put this in there, I usually hold the top part of the box, hold the top part of the box, and push it in. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll get a ruler and just pressure it in, just because the, do the box does go in and out. And you just pressure it in and then you'll be done so then now you have the box which you push the side and you're able to open it and close it and there you go you could decorate it any way you want any way you want and what I do is with the extra paper that I use I punch out these flowers and I got the punch at Michael's and this is really a nice punch. Um, when you have a coupon 50% off or 60% off, that's when it's good to get these punches because then you don't use your silhouette for little items like this. You could just punch these out and then you could save your silhouette machine for other things. So what I did is I punched these flowers out. I think I have some black ones here so it can match. Let me move this a little bit out. Yeah, I have a black one here because I want it to, to match. So what I'll do is I'll punch these out. And usually what I do is I did my um, niece's quinceanera invitations and I had to punch out to make 100 invitations. So what I did is I just punched all the pink, all the, the white, sat down and started to watch movies with my daughter and um, and just start getting your scoring tool just to twist it backwards and that would give you like the 3D effect. So when you have a lot to do, just sit down, watch a movie. I think we were watching Once Upon a Time, so it was fun because we were all sitting down watching it and I was just folding these out. So you can use the paper that you have. Usually what I do is I just put them, instead of putting them all together like this, I just flip one over like that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the black on top and then the purple at the bottom and then the black right here. So to do this faster, instead of using the glue, I use these glue dots. And then you could just stick a glue dot in the back and then you will put it not right on top of each other, you slant it over so it looks, you can see the bottom color and then you get another glue dot and you would put this one, since this was going down you would want to get the other one to go up and like I said, you just put it on the opposite side and you're done, okay? 
once you do this, I also put these gems on there. And I got these at the flea market. There's a lady that sells these in pink and silver. And it's like a big roll for like $8, which it's not bad. It's really, it's a really good deal. So then I get a glue dot also. You could do it with the glue. But just to do it faster, I just put that in there. You could do that. You could put glue, glue dot, whatever you want to do that here. Um, what I do is there's some, I don't think I have it. I thought I had it here. But you could get the dimensionals also. And you could get those at the dollar store. I thought I had a strip here. But for right now, we'll just put this one. But you could get the dimensionals also so it could stand out a little bit. You could cut those in half because some are pre-cut ones and little squares. And then you could put this one like right there. And there you go. You have your little box. And you could put, fill it up with those treats. Or you could shred paper, like purple paper on this one. Just shred it and then stick it in there so it could match. And put your little treats in there and give these out. Um, the other day I did one for my daughter. But it was a different one. Here, I'll show it to you guys. Let me go get it. It's, um... Uh, I think you guys will like this one too. I did this box that I saw on a channel also and when I tried to do it I was like I wonder if it's gonna come out so it came out really cute my my daughter her birthday was last month and she wanted me to do it and she's like you know what mom why don't you do a box for my invitation so I'm like okay there was only four girls that we were gonna invite well it's gonna be her and two more girls that we were gonna invite and so I thought it was a cute idea since I didn't have to do a lot of them I only had to do four of them and it was my daughter, two of her friends, my sister and my mom. We went and we went to the spa, we went to the movies, and then we went to in and out That's what she wanted to do, so that's what we did. So we spent most of the money on her instead of making this huge party like we always do every year. So this was good, and then I put my time in doing this box. And it's so cute because it's like a little stationary center. And um, these are the invitations that I did because that's how I was going to give it to the girls. It was like a passport, passport. And these are the invitations that I did. I had these printed out at um, Staples because it looks so much better on laser and I don't have a laser printer. So I just printed those out on a silver type paper. And then I did this envelope and I put the gift card gift certificate in here for the nail shop so I did one of these for each of the girls I did another envelope and I stuck the movie tickets in here so each of the girls had a little little stubs a movie ticket and I didn't put nothing there I just left it blank and then I did this one here to match the theme my daughter loves Paris so that's the theme right now that we're in it's a little notepad and here I put the agenda for the day, which we're going to go to the Maddie Petty, go to the movies, um, go to In-N-Out for dinner. And it, you could do this little pencil holder and stick a pen or a pencil in there. So this is really cute for a teacher, co-worker. It's really cute. But she's like, Mom, I think I like that for my invitation. Let's give one of these out to my friends. So I thought it came out really cute. I might be able to do... A tutorial on this one too it's just a lot of detail because there's like one two three pockets here and then the folding and the layering but I probably just do a simple one and put the instructions but let me know if you would like me to show you how to do this one this one's really cute so I hope you guys had fun I hope you guys learned something and if you guys want me to do any other tutorials just let me know comment below so thank you have a nice day and be nice to everyone